Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. My life as Monique, I am Monique. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're new, welcome. And if you've been here before, thank you so much. Please do me a solid. Hit the like button, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. So y'all look at this UPS worker, <laughs> me and my sons, we call it ups, right? But look at her, she doesn't look happy. She's sitting there on her truck, you know, and I like my UPS um drivers and stuff like that. And then look at her sitting here. She don't look happy either. You know, she's a very unhappy, disgruntled worker at the ups place. And you probably are wondering why. Well, y'all remember back last year, they were talking about this UPS strike that was supposed to happen and how it was going to shut down everything and everything was supposed to happen. So let's look at this article. Um, Let me see where the article is at. I don't know where the article went. Where did my article go? I had an article. Here's the article right here. UPS to cut 12,000 jobs five months after agreeing to a new labor deal. So what essentially happened was there was this big talk about UPS drivers. They were going to go on strike and they averted the strike and they landed a five-year contract where some of those UPS drivers child, they can pay like upwards of $170,000, 70K a year. But in order for them to get to this contract, they were like, okay, we're going to give y'all the contract. But then some months later, it was like, uh, we're laying off 12 thousand people y'all 12,000 people that's a lot of people and they're calling it a mass layoff you're, you're you're talking about they're affecting multiple families now UPS has roughly it says 500,000 employees okay and they're going to save one billion dollars in cost savings um, when they lay these people off so this is what they're going to have to do so I went on over to TikTok and, you know, TikTok is a different type of space than, um, you know, YouTube, you know, it's just a different arena of information and how it's presented. But the TikTokers be over there TikToking. And I came across this gentleman right here. And how about if you Getting laid off two almost, months shy of your point, if you did almost 20 years at UPS and you were two months shy, just two months, y'all 60 days. Two months shy of reaching 20 years to where you would get a pension. And then they lay you off as a part of this mass layoff. How would you feel? What would you do? So this is a gentleman right here. And I think he's just being really cool about it. But I guess like, what can you do? But I got some advice for y'all about this. Because this is kind of, I would be upset. So let's listen to this. And like I said, the TikTok is a whole different space, y'all. The TikTok is be TikTok and over there on TikTok. So let's listen to this. Getting laid off two months shy of your 20th year anniversary. Let's listen, shall we? Getting laid off two months shy of your 20th year of service. I'm going to just use the app to just peruse the internet. But I'm making this one today because I'm in a bit of a situation. Not a bad situation, but a situation. So I've worked at UPS for 19 years and 10 months. And earlier this month, they had layoffs and I was laid off. I don't take umbrage with that. It's part of the corporate culture. It happens. It's happened to people that have worked with me over the years. The problem I have is trying to find a place to land. I don't think I would, it would bug me so much if I had been there 21 years or 19 years, but this is my 20th year. It's a, it's a landmark year. And actually in two months, I have my on on April 4th will be my 20th year to the day. And I'll miss that. And that kind of bothers me. Over 40% of my life has been working at UPS. It's a great company to work for. I don't have, I don't have anything bad to say about it, but it's a little bittersweet because I'm at 20 years, but not going to quite make it. And like I said, I accept the fact that jobs lay off, people get cut, life goes on. I have skills. I've worked in HR at UPS. I have been a semi-truck trainer. Uh, I went to their hardest training school, DTS, and passed that. I have worked in the warehouse. I've trained people on being a yard driver. We call them shifters or hostler, same thing. Uh, yard jockey, yard mule, yard bird, same thing. The problem that I have is I'll miss my 20 years. And that really has been bothering me. Um, had this been in May or June, I would have, it, would, it would have been sad. But, you know, at least I had my 20 years. I feel like 
that 20th year is just going to bug me and it probably will bug me. I really have until Friday to try to find another spot within the company or else, you know, it's over. I have some things I'm working on. You know, they are giving us a severance, so it's not horrible, but that 20th year will be nice. The other aspect is if there are no management jobs that I can do, I should be allowed to go back into the union without having to start over. I don't mind starting at the bottom, being behind everybody in seniority list. I understand how it goes. But if there's no management jobs, I should be allowed to go back and just work. I'm not asking for a handout. I'm not asking for any special. I don't think it's special. I'm just asking for it to be for it to be fair. I should be allowed to go back into the union and just start working. Or so this gentleman here, he's really taking it you know i mean what else can he do he worked there for 20 years and he was in management and what i find guys is that they're getting rid of a lot of middle management and upper management um positions as well and what he's basically saying is look i don't in management you no longer are a part of the union right so he's like i don't mind going back and working you know loading a truck or doing whatever um and being an hourly worker unionized but i don't want to start at the salary you know, where the beginning, he said, seniority, I don't mind being behind in seniority, but I shouldn't ha have to start at the bottom of the totem pole. Also, he missed his anniversary of 20 years by two months. And that time, you know, as it relates to your pension, as it relates to retirement, it's all about the time that you put in. And he is going to miss that by 60 days. Guys, let me tell you, and that means he does not get his pension. So he, like he said, I spent, he said, he, I spent 40%, half of his life almost working at UPS, which he really, you know, if you know anything about UPS, they have great benefits and all of that good stuff, right? They don't pay for their um, health benefits or nothing like that. So, you know, he's taking it really well, but y'all, I'm going to say this and y'all could do what y'all want to do. And I'm not telling y'all to do nothing crazy, but if you are hearing clamoring in your organization, um, of layoffs and stuff and you like 30 days or 60 days before you about to reach your, um, you know, and you hearing through the grapevine that they about to lay folks off child. I will go out on some type of leave. I ain't telling y'all to lie. You might have to go out on a personal leave. And a lot of times when you go out on a leave, the clock still keeps ticking. You are still an employee. So shoot, I come out off the leave maybe a week after my um my time and then if they lay me off at that time oh so be it but you got to keep your ear to the ground and stuff because that's why i'm like look these layoffs are coming i'm sure there was some you know ruffling of of messages and stuff you know going down in the background oh well, they can ready to do some layoffs in two more months that's when you take your personal leave of absence or whatever kind of leave you can find and just sit at home and do what you got to do if you want a personal leave it's personal reasons but that the clock is still ticking and so even if you come back off your personal leave two days after your, your seniority date to get your pension oh well you get your pension they lay you off you feel better i'm not telling y'all what to do but look this man worked 19 years and 10 months and they be counting that time. Yo, they be counting that time. So they knew this man was 19 years and 10 months. Now, hopefully he can find something else, but if not, he's out of his pension y'all. So what would y'all do if y'all were in a situation like he was and he um, is due in, you know, some months and you hear some chatter about some layoffs. Look, if you some companies do have they have medical leaves, they have personal leaves. I think they just have certain leaves. Find your way cuz when you still out on a leave, the clock keeps ticking. It don't stop. So you could be out on a leave with pay. The clock is still ticking. You are still an employee. You are not no longer terminated. So y'all, let me know what y'all think about this. I feel bad for the dude. I think he is actually being very diplomatic. He's accepted it, but he's like, dang, you know what I mean? This is really bittersweet, you know? And at least, you know, I got a, a short amount of time to go find me another position. If I can't find something, he was like, by Friday, I'm out the door. This is like, y'all, this is a hot mess. No pension. 60 days shy. Child, I would have been on a leave so fast that I'm like, mm -hmm, this is personal.
Mm-hmm. What's personal? I just got to get my mind right. It's personal. Whatever kind of leave you guys to go on, but I would have taken a personal leave of absence. And I asked your, um, you know, a secretary or whoever it is that does the benefits, call your benefits and be like, if I'm out on the leave, is my clock, is the clock still ticking toward, you know, my, um, seniority? And if they say yes, then guess what? You are still going to be eligible for your pension. Let me know what y'all think about this situation because this is getting 12,000 people, y'all, laid off. And these are management. I find now, just like there's no middle class, there's really no middle management. It's like you either entry level or you super duper executive or C-suite, but really no, you know, you got VPs and executives. There's really no management, nothing anymore. Or directors, they get rid of them positions and you just have, you know, uh, entry or very experienced people without the titles. But child, it's getting kind of hectic out here. Let me know what y'all think about this. Would you have went out on a leave or what would you have done? This is a hot mess. I feel, you know, bad for the brother. I hope he can find him something else at the ups store but he looking sad like this lady right here because i would be sad too you know what i'm saying you know ain't nothing guaranteed these days ain't nothing guaranteed let me know how you what you think about this comment down below y'all 60 days before you get your pension they give you the book boot comment down below like share subscribe hit that bell and i will see you on the next episode of life as monique all right y'all peace and i'm out let me know what y'all think about this because this is a hot mess. They could at least let the brother, you know, deliver some packages and stuff for two months so he can make his thing and then lay him off. I don't know, but that ain't how it work in these corporate, corporate America. All right, y'all. See y'all in the next upload. Peace and I'm out.